250 series Prado. Well, the 250 series Prado has gone off with a bang and we have been inundated with inquiries and questions about the 250 series Prado and when we'll have our packages finalized. Well, I can tell you today, we're very, very close to having the stage one and two package ready for you to buy. So in this video, we're gonna cover things like the exhaust, airbox, and tuning. And what I really wanted to show everyone at home is the R&D that goes into these cars to be able to develop a package that is safe and has the drivability so you know that you're getting your money's worth out of these packages. So we're gonna start off with the exhaust and we'll go through that and give an explanation around it. The advantages to our exhaust system on our 250 series Prado. Well, to start off with, it's 304 stainless. It's a four inch exhaust system. Not that you need a four inch, but I think it looks a lot better than having say a three inch on here. It flows more. It helps with turbo response, lowering EGTs, all of the above. Overall, I think it's great. It is a 304 stainless with 304 stainless steel flanges that are TIG welded, which means that it's gonna last a lifetime of the car. It's not gonna be a problem and it's gonna do the job that you need it to do, which is really, really important. So overall, Manta have built this exhaust in for us. This is exclusive to Just Autos and our distributors. So if you're interested in one of these exhaust systems, this is part of our stage two package. So we've been able to tune the car. We're so far at 175 horsepower from 130. And we've come up 480 newton meters from the 330 newton meters. So we've come up a fair bit in torque and power. Power-wise, this particular motor is very similar to the GDJ in the 70 series, as well as the 2.8 in the Gen 3 Prado, and also the Gen 3 Hilux. So the motor we know pretty well, it's definitely a reliable little engine. It's done its test of time so far, and it's producing much the same results as those particular platforms were. Uh, the big hurdle for us, uh, for anything that's new, is the operating system. And so far, this is in what we call a Gen 4, um, so it's gone away from Gen 3. So the ECU is a lot more complex. There's a lot more torque control strategies around how the car operates, how the automatic shifts. So it just takes a little bit of time to understand, reverse engineer that, and, and get the car to perform in a way where you get that drivability, not just power. So the power part, we did very quickly, and that was the easy part. As far as the multi-mapping goes, we got the multi-mapping set that we have with all of our cars. So you still have things like idle up and immobilizer, launch control, um, three different maps, um, all switched from the cruise control um, on your steering wheel. So that's, that's all still much the same as other models. Some other things we're adding as features is our new easy lock function. Um, and that is something that we'll go through with another video and explain how that works. And something else that is really annoying for me on this particular car is a stop start function. So I wanna be able to disable that and have that as an option for customers because, you know, yes, you can definitely push the button, but for some reason I forget to push it every time I jump in the car and um, it annoys the hell out of me. So there's something else there that we're, we're looking at um, disabling on this particular model. All in all, the power's great. It drives very similar to the 150 series Prado as far as power goes, and you can compare that back to the N80 Hilux. Definitely driving the car for some time stock and then having it tuned makes a hell of a difference. And we've had a huge interest and huge influx of people wanting to do modifications to these cars. Um, so we will release that at the right time. So I suggest um, to book in, get your pre-bookings in there. Um, at least that way we can put you on the list and we can call you up as soon as that package is ready to go. And um, get that all sorted. All right, so now we're gonna talk about airboxes and the development R&D around the airboxes for the 250 Series Prado. This is the factory airbox. Um, as you can see, the intake here of the airbox is where the snorkel would go through the, the guard. Um, it has a bellow that's connected to that. Um, basically, you can see that it's quite a large intake. It's, it's not a bad intake. It's nearly the same size as a 300 series, believe it or not. But we decided to go down this path of having a factory airbox made with the factory filter. Um, this ensures that if you wanna keep this in system in, in sync and have a really good clamping seal around the factory filter and keep that as factory as possible, this is definitely the way to go. The problem here is that when we're starting to push the car and having a restriction on the turbo is something that we really need to be mindful of because it increases turbo speed and also increases intake temps and longevity of a turbo with increased speed um, can definitely end up in failure. So we have to be mindful of that, especially as the filter starts to get blocked. 
So the next stages were Joshy and the boys were doing some testing on vacuum on these particular air boxes. And we went through a whole range of different ones. And now this particular engine, the GDJ, it's the same base engine, but the control system and the air box and the exhaust system and so forth is completely different around this car. So we have to be mindful of that and see the changes. The restrictions on this factory air box with the bellows in place and everything was considerably bad. So we're like, hey, we need to do something here. So this is an option for people that want to say fairly standard in say a protection package and want to keep this air box. It's going to help with the dusting issues, but it's not really going to be suitable for us moving forward for us making power. Just to give you guys an insight, these are some filters. This is a filter and a membrane out of a 150 series Prado. So you can see that filter itself is a fair bit bigger. This is adequate enough, but only marginally. It does the job and it does it okay. And we really will look, well, we could definitely go to this size filter, but it's not quite as good as what we'd want. So we gave the option to go to say like an N80. This is an N80 filter. You can see that filter is quite considerably different. It's got a lot more surface area. The N80 air box that we have for the Gen 3 at the moment in this particular 2.8 motor flows an ample amount of air. It's not even a problem, so it works really, really well. So bringing that N80 air box into this area is just not gonna fit. It's not even remotely the same size. The area is quite tight and small, so we're gonna have to be pretty tricky. Good thing is I have Dave from FFM who makes our air boxes come out here and I'll give him a task again to try and redesign this with a different filter element to get the flow to work well for what we're trying to output for our customer. So he's working on it at the moment. The filter we're gonna to go to is gonna be a larger filter. Um, it is gonna be something that is common to get. We have some, a few ideas. Uh, that air box is getting made up at the moment and we'll be testing that later today um, and it'll be interesting to see where the results end up. So we're gonna have a two air box variation for this particular car. Um, something that maintains, uh, I guess, the factory uh, symmetry of the car um, and then something that's a little bit more modified for the guys that want a bit more power as well as running, say, a Safari Air Max snorkel when they release or a stainless steel snorkel option so that is definitely something that's on the cars but so far this air box is great it looks good it seals it fits well it's exactly like factory um, and does the job however we want more um, and we want to be able to provide something that is going to work for everyone so um, stay tuned for that next step so we finished running the car on the dyno and it's produced some really really good power uh, this is typically what we see out of the GDJ in the 79 series, uh, the N80 Hilux, 150 series Prado, all fitted with this variant of motor. Obviously being in the 250 series, it's a lot different. Um, however, it's still producing around the same numbers as expected. Uh, the car come in with around about 117 horsepower, uh, up to 175 horsepower. That is still done at all four wheels here at the moment. Um, so it's come up another 130 odd newton meters of torque. So 133 to 463. So the end result on the power, that's all uh, fairly easy to get. That's a, you know, a 10 minute job for us to recreate and understand how to make that power. We can use the knowledge base of those other previous cars with this particular motor. The work that's involved in it now is really getting drivability in the car and that's where we're going to be on the road and still in the dyno and going through all those transient areas to try and get a really, really nice drive out of this car. So I guess this power number is something you're going to be expecting in the two packages moving forward. Um, the first package will be a little bit tamer than this without the obviously running a standard air box. These are things that we have to be considerate of. Um, in the stage two package, once we increase that air box, um, at the moment we have a modified air box on there um, doing some of these tests. So that'll be finalized in our packages very shortly. But overall, it's an impressive little engine. It's making really good power. That is one thing I lacked in this car was the drivability and the power there. Now that I've got it, it makes a hell of a difference to drive. So I know you guys will be happy with it because I'm really happy with it. So um, that's going to be pretty cool to see. So stay tuned um, and let's see what we can get with our other two packages. All right, thanks for watching, guys. That's our 250 Series Prado all done and dusted and a bit of an insight into our R&D of what we do and what's involved with these cars. So if you want to be one of the first that gets a package for your 250 Series Prado, please get in contact with the guys. I'll take your details and they will give you a call when the package is fully released. So just remember, we have distributors around Australia that can service your needs with these cars. So if you want one of these packages, like I said, get in contact with the guys. They'll be happy to take your details and we will give you a call shortly and let you know what's going on.